Hi, this is Danielle Zana. I'm basically going to do a vlog. And yes, I'm going to wish you more a happy rally of New Year. Well, basically this day wasn't really good for me at all, unfortunately. Because on Facebook, um, yesterday I was currently working on my artwork in work in progress uploading to show people and as well give skills and then give links to my live stream those who cannot go on the live stream I just upload screenshots however some arsehole reported it um, because of the all automatic system of Facebook um, my one account had been blocked the one with the lovely little Eloha face on which I've got on my screen yeah, put it there, there. lovely little photo has my user profile picture of the extraterrestrial entity or person star person Iloha yeah more gives them more respect you know oh come on son. there we go Well, basically, I had that sort of problem that Facebook removed the picture and then, with authoritative abuse and punishment, that account is now blocked. Um, I also want to say thank you very much uh, for wishing me a happy birthday. I do apologise that I'm still can't manage other people's birthdays and all that because of the block in order to thank everybody um, so, so that I didn't so you didn't I had to use one of my accounts to thank people which was rather awkward um, as you know the 4th of August was just any old boring day besides the fact the people that made my day interesting was a friend called Simone and my cousin or niece Linda um, so yeah they kind of made my day a little bit more interesting and I thank them very much because if they were around, my day would have just been boring and no first contact nothing so yeah but the thing is there was can't say that nothing happened but there's an interesting um, flying saucer or somewhere in Mexico I don't know if people speak Spanish so my assumption of Mexico is a bit you know I just was interested in the object that had been captured on film um, basically it formed sort of like a um, looked like a star like a star flake not star flake snowflake in a sense and um, it actually represents the symbol of infinity and as you can see over there what I got around my neck the symbol of infinity the shape resembles that and which can also be explained from the so called uh, universal field is or Higgs field or what the astro not the astro particle physicists say eh? well at the moment I'm just very tired but down uh, yes today is a bit of a downer um, about my Facebook and all that so I do apologize that I am not running around praising the yellow hem or the extraterrestrials and that the thing is I was wanting to do some art and at the moment I am having a little art block because of this I've had many issues uh, and um, yeah so basically as I mentioned in my other video to take well I mentioned or advised that the so-called prediction actually which I call assumption of first contact um, 
uh, by the so-called channeler um, was on the fourth, said on the fourth of August, and most people who are critical, logical thinkers, you can turn out uh, correct. I mentioned pinch of salt because I was expecting, actually was hoping that um, such an event would happen but uh, with my feelings nip so I was actually hoping it would but there was as I mentioned the this, this star thing that was in the sky in some remote village somewhere not the Olympic Games now I'll, I'm just thinking about something you know what what if what if the channeler or this person did send something or get some sort of telepathic insight besides adding their imagination to it um, what if it was the person there was supposed to be something huh? what if and what would be the reason for the turn down if such an event supposed to happen hmm? going around quite recently um, I'm subscribed to this person called um, let's have a look Daniel not Daniel but Daniel of Doria basically this person does have quite good footage which he shares of um, UFO footage and that but of his recent posts of lately I find them quite upsetting disturbing and offensive and I am on the question should I unsubscribe or should I just remain subscribed now the thing is I like the old YouTube system where you had friends hmm not subscribers and things because it just takes the whole friendship out of the whole YouTube community well it's not even a community anymore it's more like random channels and shit and you just subscribe to them but anyway although it's just the, the amount of dribble that's come out of his mouth and brain at the moment um, about extraterrestrials and then the whole negative um, outlook is so unbelievable which is which is actually itching me to unsubscribe him because I can't take it because I have done videos explaining things uh, the best he knows me he does know me explaining things and he just you know people you know people are right to think what they think but it just gets to the point where he's actually spreading xenophobia and fear which is what I don't like right um, first of all I'll actually go to some of the crap uh, I read um, we had done okay first one video well I'll look at this video first and this is about a speech on the 5th of August going on saying that humanity is under threat of the extraterrestrials it's all misinformation that um, blaming the extraterrestrials for the stupidity and 
mindlessness of the government. Extra treasures have nothing to do with it. So, you know, they have nothing to do with it. Yes, the governments are sitting on UFO technology and this technology would actually help bring out paradigm and a paradigm shift. The only technology would actually do the paradigm shift. Everyone is getting well, was working up um, towards a mindset of escaping the matrix and let the matrix just like gobble them and then get these religious fanatics going around saying extraterrestrials are demons and all that crap. And that seems to be really pushing. It's like very much the same as uh, or similar to the atheists versus theist videos, where we are where this is more on a cosmic um, topic and misinformation about extraterrestrials is so sickening. Now I'm going to sh give you, but I'll first go and I'll get to that more that that um, incident, which is actually a shooting. I was in a Sikh temple. This chap. I'll get to that a bit later, which is related to this shit. It is. Okay. Um. Going on with the whole abduction and then then. The, God, there's no such thing as a bloody God that has been programmed into you. Now, the the fundamental aspects of the whole elite one percent of controlling the ninety percent is money, mm -hmm. religion, policy. Uh, that's like artificial laws, not natural law uh, of cosmic consciousness and all that and then God mm. these four factors theism um, which includes monotheism particular monotheism theism, religion politics and money these four factors, four factors of the matrix, the cube, as you can say, but what some people actually like to use as a metaphor to describe it. The thing is, please, and I know you want to actually help humanity and everything, but you just making it difficult. For extraterrestrials to actually um, be accepted as people and feel welcomed because uh, at the moment it's first of all calling them aliens would naturally chase them away or they'd say oh yeah forget it as I meant well, well one person commented on the thing one of my uh, comments going on about aliens, aliens, ah, oh, for freak's sakes. Alien, as I mentioned before, well, this person seems to have the idea which I'm going to. Look, says, a person from India comes to America is an alien. Right? Yes. Um, I don't mean it if you like, but uh, if you are.